Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. Yeah. Happy Friday friends, it's Friday, it's the weekend. We are inching closer and closer to Christmas which blows my mind. I'm still not done Christmas shopping. I haven't wrapped a single thing. My house is decorated, so I have one step up. I still need to make my famous frosted sugar cookies. I actually did an entire video on this last year. I'll link it down below for you guys. These are the best sugar cookies you're ever going to try. So I definitely want to make those for this year. It is just such a busy, busy time of year. Today we're going to talk about my week. We'll set some goals for next week. We'll discuss the WW workshop topic and I will share week two of December's weigh-in with you. So if you're excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you're watching and you're not subscribed, we would love to have you. Hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I do a weigh-in every single Friday. Down in that description box, you're going to find my 2022 calendar where you can track your life, your goals, food, self-care, water, and activity. It's really the only calendar you need for the new year, and it is limited edition and almost sold out. So definitely grab it while you can. You'll also find my four recipe eBooks, nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget to click that link and join us over on Facebook. We would love to have you join that community as well. So without further ado, let's jump in to our Friday weigh-in. Again, happy Friday. I hope you had a fantastic week. I had a good week. I had a busy week, a little bit of a stressful week, but overall I had a pretty good week. In Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I shared a major, major, really life-changing health update with you. If you haven't seen Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day, I will link that down below for you. It'll give you a little bit of perspective of where I am on my weight loss journey, how I'm going to be moving forward here on my channel. Definitely check out Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. I feel like despite the stress, and the craziness of this time of year, I'm doing really well on my eating. I will be honest with you, I'm not tracking as well as I should be. There are meals that I miss when it comes to tracking. There's whole days that I don't track, but I am being very, very mindful. I'm watching my portions. I'm doing my absolute best. Stay in my calories and my WW points. So I feel like overall, I'm doing really well when it comes to my food. My exercise, as usual, is good. I'm getting two to three days a week in of jazzercise, and I'm just feeling overall really good. I'm down 75 pounds as of last week. I shared that exciting announcement in last week's weigh-in, and I'm definitely starting to feel it even a little bit more. Like I'm feeling leaner, lighter on my feet. My body just doesn't hurt as much as it did even 10 pounds ago. So I'm reaping the rewards of my long road and my hard work over the last couple of years. So of course I'm going to be sharing this week's weigh-in with you, but I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about this week's WW workshop topic, and that is how to get the most out of your points budget. This is a very important topic. I get asked a lot, how do you stay within your points? Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. I feel like I go through my points so fast. So all of these tips and tricks are definitely going to help you out if you are one of the people that feel like it's really hard to stay in your points every day. Remember with personal points, your plan is personal to you. You can optimize your daily points by picking the zero point foods that you eat most often. Now, I remember I did share with you guys that I chose avocado as a zero point food for me, but as the weeks have went on, I'm just not eating avocado every single day. So I'm at the point where I need to repersonalize my zero point foods to make best of my daily points. I may opt for things like rice or oatmeal instead of avocado for zero points since I tend to be eating those pretty regularly. But that's one great thing about the new program is it's personal to you. You can really optimize how many points you get every single day. So some tips on how to do that is number one, to focus on 
what really matters. Focus on the meal that matters the most to you. Is it Sunday brunch? Is it your Saturday date night with your husband? Do you have a lot of parties and events coming up that you need to optimize your points and calories for those? Tip number two is to visualize your meal. And this is actually a pretty powerful tip. Think in advance what you're going to consume at that event and plan the rest of your day around that. How much of the dessert are you going to eat? How many appetizers are you going to have? How many adult libations are you going to have? Visualize what your plate is going to look like at the event. And that goes hand in hand with tip number three, which is to pre-track whatever you can pre-track. If you know that you're going to have one glass of wine, pre-track that. If you know that you're going to have a piece of pie for dessert, pre-track that. Do your best to pre-track your heaviest or your highest point meal every single day, and then you can build the remaining meals and snacks around the points that you have left. And then when it comes to that event or that big meal, you're not out of points. You've pre-planned for that and then you've worked the rest of your day around it. And number four is manage whatever leftover points you have. This goes back to what I was just talking about. Pre-track your biggest meal or your point heaviest meal or your most calorie dense meal of the day and then you'll know what's left over essentially for you to use throughout the rest of the day so that you can manage and plan your other meals and snacks accordingly. That way you're not going into that big meal or that party with no points left over or no calories left over. You've pre-planned your day where you've still nourished your body, you've eaten all your meals, but you've saved up for that special meal or event. And remember, that's what weekly points are for. That's what activity points are for, is for all of these things that come up, these parties, these events, really all the things that happen over the holiday season. And remember, everything's on the menu with WW. You just have to do a little prepping and planning in order to incorporate whatever it is that's put in front of you, whatever food choices you have, or maybe whatever cravings you need to satisfy. It's all available to you on WW with a little fancy footwork, a little bit of planning ahead, and a little bit of maneuvering around, you can definitely enjoy the holidays, enjoy events, and get the most out of your daily and weekly smart points. This topic comes at a perfect time because we're all invited to holiday parties and events. I know for me that I'm already planning out what I'm going to do for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and what meal we're going to be making, what sweet treats are going to be on the table. I'm already planning those out, so I'm already one step ahead when it comes to getting the most out of my points budget leading up to the holidays and then of course at any events that I'll be attending over the course of the next month. So now it is time to talk a little bit about my weigh in for the week. Like I said, I feel really good about my food choices, watching my portion control, making good food choices. I'm feeling lighter on my feet. I'm feeling lighter at jazzercise. I feel like it's still hard. I'm out of breath. I'm sweaty, but I'm feeling lighter on my feet. It's really, really hard to explain, but Hopefully you know what I'm talking about where you just feel lighter overall. So when I stepped on the scale this week, I lost again for the second week in the month of December, I am down an additional 0.6 pounds, which means that I have lost 76 pounds total. So I'm losing every single week. It is slow and steady for me. I do talk a lot about this in my medical update. So again, check that video out. It is down in the description box. And we should see my weight loss increasing as we move into the new year with the results that were obtained from all of my medical testing, blood work, all the things. Definitely check out that video for the 411. But I'm excited for another loss. I'm always happy to see the scale move in the right direction, especially during the holidays. I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you have going on for the holidays. How do you feel about pre-planning the heaviest meal of the day so that you can work around that? How was your week? How was your weigh-in? Let me know everything down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. And of course, if you enjoyed another weekly recap topic, a weigh-in, goals, how my week was, give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and lets me know that you still want to see these weigh-in videos moving in to 2022. And if you're watching or you're not subscribed or your bell's not turned on, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things so you never miss a single video. Don't forget to check out the description box for the calendar, recipe eBooks, nutrition coaching, and don't forget, we'd love to have you over on Facebook as well. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Happy Friday, happy weekend, happy holidays, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.